this is a great example of just like follow instructions. Don't let the weird words in a question intimidate you. What are they telling us? The functions f and g are defined by the given equations where x is greater than or equal to zero. Yeah, okay, great, they gave me f and g. Like that's not even an instruction I need to think about. Which of the following equations displays as a constant or coefficient? So we need to know what that means. The maximum value of the function it defines where x is greater than or equal to zero. So constant or coefficient just means like it's a number in the equation. So maybe I can think about this and figure out what the maxims and minimums are going to be. But this is a great example of like, I could also see how it looks in Desmos. The only thing is Desmos is kind of a pain here, but it's, I think it's fine, right? So f of x, let's type it up, is equal to 33 times 0 0.4. And then watch what happens if I just do the exponent and do x plus, oops, x plus 3. It gives me this weird thing where the, the plus three is not where it's supposed to be, right? It's not in the exponent, it's outside of it. So we gotta fix that. So my advice is just do some parentheses. Just do x plus three, and it keeps it all in the top. So hopefully you knew to do that. That would obviously mess you up, but there you go. And then g of x is equal to, uh, I'll just type it all up. So 33 times 0 0.16 times 0 0.4 to the, parentheses, x minus two. So let's do them one at a time, right? So let's do the purple. Um, can I shrink this? Yeah, there we go. So remember, they're telling me that x is greater than zero. So uh, this left side of the equation, I don't really care about, but I can see that it kind of has its maximum at the y-intercept. Then it seems to be pretty low here and doesn't seem like anything's changing. I can zoom out and yeah, I don't think it's going back up. So let's go back, right? So the, the maximum here is going to be the y-intercept, it looks like. So that's 2.112. So what they're saying in this question then is does 2.112 show up in the equation itself, right? Do we see it? Maybe it's a fraction, so I have to be careful of that, but I don't see any fractions here. I see a 33, I see a 0.4, and I see a 3 in the plus 3 at the end. None of those for the f of x are 2.112. So that means that one is wrong, right? It, it's not showing the maximum here. So let's look at the other one. Uh, so this would be this one here. And same thing, it, it looks like if I go to the right, it's kind of dead, right? But my maximum, again, because x has to be greater than or equal to zero. So otherwise this wouldn't be a maximum because it keeps going higher. But it, the zero is my y-intercept. So let's figure it out, I can tap it and it's 33. And so, well, there's a 33 right there in the equation. So that works. Why does it work? I don't care. I don't care. It works. That's all I need. So this is a great example too of like, don't do more work than necessary. They asked you which of these equations includes the maximum. Just look at it, see, and if it does, move on, right? Like don't, don't try to understand the mathematical concepts that prove that right. Who cares? That's why we put it in Desmos, so we can just see it and not have to think about it. Uh, if you think about it, I think there's a much greater chance of getting it wrong. If you've got some sort of concise reason why it had to be, you know, the two uh, g of x and not f of x, go ahead and put it in the comments. I don't care. But that is not at all I would think about it on the test. I would do exactly what I did here uh, and just type this stuff out. So. Hopefully that all makes sense. It's And hopefully all the instructions in the question made sense. If they don't, that's where you're in trouble. But they're fairly simple instructions. You should know what a constant and a coefficient are. You should know what a maximum is. You should know to put these things in the, in the graph and see what they look like.